morning, YouTube. We are on day two of our big purge before we start school this year. The yesterday went great. We took our day off. We got some stuff done in the morning, lawn mowed and stuff, and, uh, and we enjoyed another last day of summer. It was great at the beach with our friends. So today we're back at it. We're going to keep going with the same format. We take an hour on and an hour off. And we're going to see how much we can get done and how much we can get out of here. So what makes it extra fun is we're counting down at the end of this week. Our big treat is we're going to announce, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> with your kids. Learn how to just really enjoy, ow, 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 kitten. Just going to do my hair. I am doing the guest bedroom. There's a bed, we've got like bajillion mattresses and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to purge it. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I mean, I know, but there's picture frames and stuff. I think this bottom bin here, Never mind, it's toys. This is gonna be like the least interesting part of this entire video. <laughs> All right, Jacob, what are you doing? I am going to use these yellow bags, these. Yep. And put them in there of these. Okay. Do we have any spices that we don't regularly use? We don't regularly use babies, but we do. Uh, so is there anything here that we need to throw out, or it's just a matter of cleaning it up? It's a matter of, like, downside. Awesome. I'll check in with you later. Let me know how it goes. Okay. Is there Hi, Jasmine. Hi, puppy. You didn't have your food. I'm going to go down and check on what the boys are doing in the basement. Oh, okay, Ryan. Where's Ryan? Ryan. I'm Hi, a bud. bush. You're I, a bush? I'm a bush. <laughs> All right, what are you working on? Uh, this cupboard in the guest room. Okay, what have you got? Uh, we've got lots of china and some decorating stuff, some vases. Ooh, that's a crystal vase. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, we had already downsized our vases a whole lot and I only kept a few, so they're just different sizes. Yep, look at that. There aren't that many, so we'll keep those. And everything from that, that's our china. And then Andrea got a bunch of china from her auntie, which is just beautiful and stunning. And she's saving that. So all of those closets are just gonna stay the way they are. Uh, do you remember the time we went no china? Vaguely. Oh, we no. tried it. We tried a special holiday with no china and we just used regular dishes and everybody was really sad yeah. and disappointed. Uh, China's like nice makes it more interesting. So we decided as a family that this was something that absolutely brought us value and brought us joy and we we're keeping it. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, we keep our china. Uh, we've got some ice skates we'll have to decide upon. Sewing machine, that's kind of a keeper still for us. And we can pull out those few other things and see. Goodness. Hi, Benjamin. Hi. I'm gonna have you help with the toy room in a minute, okay? <laughs> Here, let's go find out what David's doing. Oh my goodness, remember when I said it gets worse before it gets better? Whoa, it got worse, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this, this right here, David, this, this is why we keep the one clean room. How do you feel right now? Overwhelmed. I bet. This looks really overwhelming. Okay, so grab the stuff you're working on. What are you working on right now? Lego instructions? Okay, grab all your Lego instructions, grab your binders that they're stored in, head upstairs to a nice clean room, just deal with the Lego instructions, and then we'll come back and we'll deal with this some more. Okay, by the way, secrets revealed. I just found this. Oh my goodness. This is supposed to be where our guinea pig supplies are kept, along with some other stuff. And it's a disaster. Jacob, it's a disaster. Oh my goodness. So we have another job on the list because I don't know what happened here, but we're gonna have to take care of that too. Okay, we have a lot, a lot of, lot, lot, lot of Lego instructions, right? A lot of Lego instructions. This is how we keep them. So David's putting them in a binder and then I'll show you how this works. We just put uh, these flyers in them. 
And then you can flip through the binder to find the instructions that you're looking for until you find what you're looking for. Now, the problem is why this hasn't been working really well is some of these binders are kind of broken. We need to replace the binders. And then if the binders dump out of the file, then this is what happens and they end up all over the floor because the binder dumped out and they all slipped out the top. So the short answer is, I don't know if this works or not. I am in just a second. Um, it's worked, I don't know. How old does it work? It works better than when we had them all like bunched together in one drawer. Yes. But it like, it would probably be better if we like punched them with a hole punch and actually fed them themselves into the binder. But well, that might be an idea. Okay, you two. Any suggestions? How do you sort your Lego instructions? Because the other thing you guys do is you just look them up online, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like we're like some of the only people I know that actually keep our Lego instructions. Really? I don't know. Like. Some oh. people keep their instructions for like their biggest sets, but otherwise they just get rid of their instructions. We're gonna think about that one then, yeah. because this is a lot of work to keep putting them back in. YouTube, if you have any suggestions, how do you sort your Lego instructions, let us know. We wanna know if there's something better than our binders, because they don't take up a lot of space. Yeah. And you can find the instructions you want when you're looking for them. Yeah. But when the binders dump, it's a disaster. What do you think, David? Yeah. Oh, this is a great project. That's yes. Why? What a pile. Awesome job. Thanks for doing this, Ryan. That looks gross. Yep, it is. Okay, so Ryan has done all these outside toys. This is the pile that we're keeping. I know it looks messy right now, but we've got some big trucks that still get played with and some Frisbees and some beach toys. Our sand table we're done with. Uh, camping chairs we're not quite grown out of. This we're gonna just double check with him and Benjamin. Most of this we're done with, but we're gonna make sure there's not some favorites before we get rid of that. And that's all being thrown out. It's either broken or doesn't get played with, or unfortunately, because of that bin of water that Ryan showed us, they went all slimy, right? And they're all gross and moldy and mildewy. And then the basketball net we're done with too. And yeah, wow, we're gonna be done out here with the exception of that. All right, Jacob. This is my parsley mix. Nice. Parsley, some paprika, ginger. Okay, how'd it go, Jacob? Good. I got rid of a bunch of the yellow bags and downsized it. Do you still have some stuff over there to deal with, it looks like? Uh, I'm probably gonna put a bit of that, a bunch of that flour into containers. Okay. Yeah. Awesome, looks great. We used to have a basket that went in the pantry. We cleaned it out completely and freed up all that space. Woohoo! I'm gonna make perfect. That's always a good sign. Yes, good job, Jacob, keep going. Nobody even knows where this bee came from. He's missing an antenna, his wings have been ripped off, and he's had a, oh, that looks pretty much like a dog bite to me. However, this bee has never ever made it through a perch. Like, everybody's like, no, no, you have to keep the bee, you have to keep the bee, we love it. He even has a string, and he flies. Can we please get rid of the bee this time? Please? Andrea? I know where it came from. Oh, where did it come from? We got it at like a table at a trade show. Like a free doodad yeah. thing? Yeah. Like when I was like, like, like in Didsbury for Canada Day a bunch of years ago. <laughs> Anybody else? Can we get rid of the bee? Yes, this bee. The bee. Can we get rid of it now? Oh. Yeah, no, I think we can get rid of it. Ryan. Yes. yes. You objected. No, I don't actually care. Where did Andrew say we got it? Trade show him. Oh, I thought we got it Canada Day. That's what she yeah, said. Canada, like Canada Day. Canada Day David and Jacob, can we please get rid of the broken bee? No. Oh. Jacob, are you saying no just to be funny? No, you don't actually... we play with the bee. Look, he's got a string and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, put that string on. Ah. Yeah, he's like a one inch no wing. That bee's been like tortured. Okay, 
So this is the lesson to all of our friends who buy lots and lots of new toys. The free, very broken, very mangled, dog chewed bee is played with more than the brand new toys that kids got at Christmas. <laughs> right. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, good grief. Okay. So I'm trying to sell these like Lego figure things and apparently there's this piece that broke and it's with like this car that the boys say that there's this car and it's in there and I can't find it. Mm. I don't know where it is in this house. Like Ryan's building like this model car and the plastic piece broke so they were gonna try to glue the piece back together. But the car is missing. Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna say that the piece is broken. And then we have it. But... I listed all the figurines and I found the piece. Oh, Ryan actually found it for me because it was in his car. And I can't fit them in their bin. Just a second. Ugh, I can't fit them. But whatever, it's okay. And then. Oh, I think it's time for lunch. There was something else I had to sell, actually. I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I am supposed to list the basketball net. Oh, here it is. Whoa. I've had the thing since I was like really little. Oh. I'm sitting off in the front room with a cup of tea and I'll explain why in the middle of this chaos. I personally find selling stuff extremely anxiety causing. I just can't, I'm not interested at all. And Andrea loves it. Got rid of the basketball net, sand table, kitchen, a bunch of play food, some toys. And then I list all of our little people from when I was a kid. It's all going away and it's awesome. <laughs> She really enjoys it, so she's been listing some stuff and getting rid of some of our toys and her other things. Uh, but the people coming and these like comments online and all that, I'm, I'm kind of overwhelmed. And so I'm letting her go ahead and do all that, and she's doing fantastic and letting her be her. But for me, I'm just sitting back and taking a few minutes to, to re hmm, and hang on through this journey because that's really hard. I would rather just load everything up and, and drop it off. It's not worth it's not worth it to me. Uh, so yeah, sometimes sometimes this journey, we have to figure out what works for us, what works and getting rid of the stuff. And, and if I held on to everything just so that I could sell it, I'd have closets and boxes and everything that would never get sold. So we have to, sometimes we choose what we sell and what we give away. <laughs> See, when we get rid of the toys we don't want to play with, we have space for the more important things, like kittens. <laughs> It's the afternoon of day two. We're making a lot of progress on the toy room and this is what we have now. Uh, those are listed for sale. We've cleared those somewhat out. We're still going. A little bit there. That's all gone. And we're clearing off the junk. We're getting there. Yay! Just found out from daddy that uh, he has a house that he's demolishing. Has some great cabinets that are going to go in, in our laundry room. Yay! So I'm taking laundry room off the list for this week. There's no point in going through it until we're ready to put those cabinets up and we'll figure out what we need and do it all at one time. Yay!